I have just created this AI agent that does website audit. This is how it works. You provide your website URL and then click on analyze web. This AI agent goes through your entire website, then creates a very detailed AI analysis. It will automatically detect all of the issues on your website. Something like how much your title is optimized, your description length, heading structure, URL structure, mobile responsiveness, loading speed of your website, content quality on your website, readability score, and then it will find top five keywords for your website. It will analyze keyword density for each keyword and then it will create all of the recommendations for your website, things that you need to improve and also it will generate a very detailed PDF report for you that you can share with your customers. I have provided the complete source code of this project absolutely for free. The link is in description. The most crucial part in building this kind of AI agents is actually fetching data from websites and analyzing your website in real time and this is where we actually use proxies. For proxies, we are using Tulip.io. This is probably one of the best and cheapest proxy provider out there. I use Tulip.io for almost all of my projects. Wherever I need to fetch data from any certain website or scrape any certain URL, I, I just use Tulip.io. You can start using Tulip.io absolutely for free. And even if you have to buy any sort of proxies in future, you can buy these proxies for like 40 cents, which is absolutely dirt cheap. Now to develop this AI agent, I use Replit. You can use Cursor or Bold.new or any other AI code editor. But once I created an initial version, I just downloaded the source code of this project. I imported the source code inside cursor, made some further changings in this project inside cursor and then I uploaded this project on GitHub. To clone this GitHub repository, I have provided a very detailed installation guide here. If you want to build this AI agent or any other similar AI agent from scratch, you can use this prompt that I have used here. You can find this prompt in description of this video. You can simply just copy this prompt and use it in cursor or bold.new or maybe in rep. Let's just give this prompt to rep. Click on start building. And now Replit AI coding agent will actually start creating this AI agent for us. It will ask you to add any certain features here, but you can simply just click on approve. And now it has started writing this code for us. And just like that, within less than a minute, it has created this agent for us. The process is similar for cursor or bold.new. You can simply just copy this prompt from here and then paste that in cursor and use AI agent mode here. Click on submit and then it will actually start generating AI agent for you. Now next step will be to integrate tulip.io inside your project. You can simply just log in with your email address and then click on dashboard. On your dashboard, you can get a three days of free plan. This is good enough for you to start. Just choose any of these proxies. I recommend you using shared data center proxy. Click on generate and it will generate this proxy for you. And in here, it will actually provide you with these details. Just copy these details from here. Open your project that you have just cloned from GitHub. Open your .env.local file and then add those details here. You need to provide host, port, proxy username and password. You can find all of these details here. Once it is done, you need to provide OpenAI API key as well. This is for AI analysis for your project. To get your OpenAI API key, you can just go to this URL, which is platform.openai.com. Click on API reference, then click on create new secret key. Just name it, click on create key, copy that key from there and paste that key inside here. And that's it. Your AI agent is fully functional and ready now. If you have any further questions, you can leave that in comment section. And please don't forget to subscribe this YouTube channel. I see you next video. Bye-bye.